Welcome to Dermatology Explained. Today is the next video as part of our series on autoimmune bullous diseases. Part 5. Today we'll be discussing some signs to know when working up a patient and assessing someone with a blistering disorder or presentation. We'll be talking about Nikolsky sign, Asbo Hansen sign, and some other signs to know. Clinical signs to elicit blister characteristics are important when examining patients with vesico bullous disorders. What are the blister signs to know? Signs associated with vesico bullous disorders include Nikolsky sign, Asbo Hansen sign, also known as Bulla spreading sign or Nikolsky 2 sign, Sheklakov sign, otherwise known as false Nikolsky sign, and finally, pseudo Nikolsky sign, otherwise known as epidermal peeling sign. Let's start off with Nikolsky sign. Dr. Nikolsky was a Russian dermatologist. In 1894, Dr. Nikolsky gave his first public description of mechanically induced detachment of the epidermal layer in a woman with pemphigus foliaceus at the fifth meeting of Russian physicians. In 1896, Dr. Nikolsky published his doctoral thesis on pemphigus foliaceus with five of his own patients and 17 descriptions from the literature. He explained that the sign showed a weakening contact between the corneal and granular layers of the epidermis, even in places where skin appeared unaffected. The definition of Nikolsky sign is the ability to induce peripheral extension of a blister after applying lateral pressure to the border of an intact blister. The indication of performing Nikolsky sign test is to differentiate intraepidermal pathologies from subepidermal pathologies. The underlying pathophysiology of pervigus is acanthalysis. The occurrence of suprabasal or intraepidermal splits in these cases contribute to epidermal separation, which is characteristic in positive Nikolsky sign. Nikolsky sign is pathognomonic for pemphigus, toxic epidermal necrolysis, and staphylococcal scalded skin syndrome. In order to elicit Nikolsky sign, one must apply lateral or tangential pressure with the thumb or fingertip on perilesional skin. The result is a shearing force that dislodges the upper layers of the epidermis in these areas from the lower epidermis and induces a subsequent blister in the area or shedding of the surface of the skin. That is demonstrated here on the image on the right hand side where the thumb is used to apply lateral tangential pressure to the border of a blistered lesion which then induces further blistering in this area. There is a variant on Nikolsky sign known as marginal Nikolsky sign. Marginal Nikolsky sign refers to a positive sign elicited over normal looking skin that is close to existing lesions in the pervigus. It is essentially the extension of erosion onto normal surrounding skin. That is demonstrated here on the image on the right hand side. There is another variant called direct Nikolsky sign. Direct Nikolsky sign is when a positive Nikolsky sign is elicited over normal looking skin that is far away from the existing lesions in pervigus. Again, this is another form of extension of erosion onto normal surrounding skin, and that is demonstrated here on the image on the right hand side. What is the difference between wet versus dry Nikolsky sign? Wet Nikolsky sign is after eliciting a Nikolsky sign, the underlying base of the lesion is moist, glistening, and demonstrates eroded skin after pressure is exerted on the skin. This is usually indicative of an active state of pervigus. In contrast, a dry Nikolsky sign is a dry base of eroded skin seen after pressure is exerted on the skin. This is usually indicative of inactive or resolving state of pervigus. The next sign we will discuss is Asbo Hansen sign, which is otherwise known as Naskolsky sign 2 or Lutz sign. In order to elicit Asbo Hansen sign, this is essentially the enhancement of an intact blister by application of pressure on its roof, usually vertical pressure. As per the diagram on the right hand side here, if one carefully presses upon the blister, 
it will enlarge towards its periphery due to the mechanical pressure of the blister fluid. In intraepidermal processes, such as pervigus vulgaris, the blister extension has a sharp angle. In contrast to this, in subepidermal processes, such as bullous pemphigoid, the advancing border is more rounded, as shown here in this picture. The next sign to discuss is Sheklakov sign, which is otherwise known as false Nikolsky sign. It is called false Nikolsky sign because it is due to a subepidermal cleavage process occurring in perilegional skin rather than intraepidermal cleavage, as originally described by Dr. Nikolsky. It is elicited by pulling the peripheral remnant roof of a ruptured blister, which thus extends the erosion onto surrounding normal skin. The erosions thus are induced but are limited in size. They lack the tendency to extend spontaneously and they generally heal rapidly. When is this sign positive? The false Nikolsky sign is positive in subepidermal blistering disorders. These include bullous pemphigoid, mucous membrane pemphigoid, pemphigoid gestationis, dermatitis hepatiformis, linear IgA bullous dermatosis, epidermolysis bullosa acquisita, junctional and dystrophic epidermolysis bullosa, porphyrias, and bullous lupus. The next sign to discuss is pseudo Nikolsky sign. Pseudo Nikolsky sign can be elicited in the same way as for true Nikolsky sign, but this can only be elicited in involved erythematous areas or existing lesional areas. Here, the underlying mechanism is necrosis of epidermal cells, which is in contrast to acantholysis, which is seen in true Nikolsky sign, such as for pemphigus disorders. It is positive in Stevens-Johnson syndrome, toxic epidermal necrolysis, and in some cases of burns, as well as bullous ichthyosiform erythroderma. Thank you for listening to this video presentation on Nikolsky sign, variants of Nikolsky sign, and other signs that are relevant to blistering disorders. I hope you learned something useful. To see more videos similar to this, check out our YouTube channel on Dermatology Explained, subscribe, and we'll see you at the next video. Thank you.